We're going to get ready in just a moment to introduce our boxers. You can see there in the far corner of this arena now, we've got Russia versus America. Another interesting matchup, as there are many interesting matchups throughout this tournament, and they're only going to get more interesting as the event progresses. Ming Fang Long from China making his way to the ring right now. Referee Jose Trueba from Cuba looking stern, looking ready. Bram, Carrillo, Kennedy, Foti, and Cowley. They're your judges for this light heavyweight matchup where the boys get bigger and the punches get stronger. 81 kilograms. There's four bouts of these to wrap up the session. Zemel Bozjak from Bosnia Herzegovina, 26 years old. He was at this event in 2009, the Aiba World Championships. He lost to Asani Fain, 10 7 in the first preliminary round. But he's stayed quite active since that time in his native land and he actually grabbed gold first place at the Bosnian and Herzegovina national championships earlier this year and uh, he even participated in the uh, European championships so Bozjak ready for action here Meng Fang Long 23 years old he was the Aiba Junior World Championship participant back in 2006 he was also in Milan in 2009 at the Aiba World Championships where he lost to Roberto Castillo from the Dominican Republic 4-2 in the second preliminary. He grabbed third in the 2010 Asian Games in Gangzhou Province, China. And more recently, he grabbed the silver, second place in the Asian Championships in Incheon, Korea earlier this year. So both boxers have been to this event before. They know what it means. Except this time the stakes are higher. This time the stakes are for Le Mignon. This time the stakes are not T-Bone. It is the London Olympics that goes the victor of this bout. Bosnjek in the red corner. Fang Long in the blue. And in a minute into this round, we see a steady pace. Both boxers are... A lean and mean. Bosnijek throws a left hook, sails over Feng Long's head. Feng Long, boxing in the southpaw style, throws a jab to the body. There's another jab to the head by Feng Long. A chopping right hand by Bosnijek. And now Bosnijek leads. Now Bosnijek standing in the southpaw style as well. A lot of these boxers seem to enjoy the flip-flopping from southpaw to conventional. It's rarely a technique that is recommended. I mean, at the highest, highest caliber and level of boxing, perhaps it can be effective. But most boxers that employ that tactic ends up being more for show than for effectiveness. There's nothing more effective than just boxing in the most fundamental of styles, using your jab, using your high guard. Effective power punching straight and short punches is always the name of the game. And now Bozjak throws a left hand that sails over the head of Fang Long. And Fang Long and him tie up in the center of the ring. Jack comes forward and Fan Long is able to deflect that rush. And now Fan Long has Baz Jack up against the ropes. They lock horns and a nice chopping left baby hook by Baz Jack on the break. He's definitely the more physical of the boxers. He looks like the shorter, stronger boxer does Baz Jack, but that's never a, a guarantee one way or the other. 
Sometimes the shorter, stronger boxer grabs the victory. Sometimes the longer, leaner boxer grabs the victory. It all really depends on how you use your physical tools. Chopping left hand, that one sent, the left hand by Bozjak sent him to the ground, but that was more of a slip and certainly ruled that way by the referee. A lunging right hand there and a left hand by Bozjak. Fang Long gets his water in the corner. You see the score, Fang Long five to two over Bozjak. Very animated corner of Meng Fang Long. They're urging their boxer on. Although he's got a few point lead going in, it's not enough. And you can't blame them. You can't leave anything for chance. Not at this level. This is Castle Chalice pulling your action here at the Haydar Aliyev Sports Complex in Baku, Azerbaijan. It's the 16th World Championships for Aiba. Over 60, rather 650 boxers from around the world have converged on Baku in the last two weeks to participate in this tournament, all with their eye on the prize, the 2012 London Summer Olympics. The victors in, at this point on, this is this round of 16, the victors get a slot at the London Olympics, as well as advance to the semifinal round of this tournament. Competition will continue to pick up. It is an elimination style tournament. Every boxer you are watching today and here on forward has eliminated at least one and after today two boxers to get here and in some instances three or four. It's quite a logistical challenge for the organizers of this event with so many boxers and so many weight classes. Certain times boxers have gotten buys to get through a round or two. That could be based on the matchups. That could be based on their world rankings or other previous accolades that they've received that have granted them such a license. But now every bout is on even footing and each boxer has to earn his way to the next round. We are exactly halfway through this first light he heavyweight bout between Boz Jack from Bosnia and Herzegovina in the red corner, and Fang Long from China in the blue corner. And a ripping right hand by Baz Jack. Misses its mark. And now Bozjak pushes forward, presses the action, and he, he clods over Meng. Meng hits the canvas, but he's back up quickly. And there's a little roughhousing going on there, some chin pushing. Little plexing in the center of the ring. And Bosnijak continues to try and figure out a way to answer the great defense, the spatial awareness of Feng Long Meng. Rarely has a boxer progressed to the highest levels of either amateur or professional without a, a strong and learned jab. And Meng would be well served, or rather, check that. Bozjak would be well served. Well, both boxers for that matter, but it looks like Bozjak is going to need to use that to get inside that and some fancy footwork to get inside the long-armed wheelhouse of Meng Feng Long. You can see some action from round number two as both boxers meet in the center of the ring there. That's another 5-2 round for Meng Feng Long, so he's starting to really pull away here and show his pedigree 10 to 4 after two rounds for the Chinese boxer.
And as we begin the third and final round here. Hanglong hey. pushes his opponent off of him. And here comes Baz to Jack. And again, they lock up. Getting a little sloppy in here. Both boxers seem to be content with locking up in the middle and, and throwing one shot at a time, also known as pot shotting, and actually trying to, to really mix it up in full combinations. You can understand why that may be the case for Fang Long as he's got a strong lead going into this third round. But as for Bozjak, it would seem that he needs to figure out a way to start landing those heavy punches. Get inside, what? use his footwork, cut off the ring, bang to the body of Feng Mang Long, and what? try and end this one with a surprising, come from behind, knockout victory. Can Baz Jack do it? There's that bull rush, that, that lion's right hand that he seems to claw in there, but it's just not really landing. It's not even coming close to landing, and as a result, it's unlikely to do it, but you never know. One punch is all it takes. There's a man there out of self-defense. Just over a minute to go here in this third and final round of this men's light heavyweight bout. And now, Bosnijak punches himself to the ground by practically jumping off his feet, throwing himself off balance, and at the same time getting a caution from the judge for turning his back. A lunging Baz Jack comes forward, but to no avail as Feng Wong continues to lock horns with him and tie him up in the center of the ring. Whenever Baz Jack tries to lunge forward, Meng does a good job of just tying him up, either that or escaping as he does there by going back into the side and therefore keeping Baz Jack off balance for pretty much most of the fight and never really being able to play his cleanse his feet and get a steady anchor. The foundation from which to throw his punches is why we have the score that we have thus far. And that's it, folks. That is going to do it for this bout. It's now in the books. Meng Fang Wong likely to to, to make it into the next round, the semifinal round, and earn himself a berth in London. Bozjak. Looking a little worse for wear there. Is not too much marking on the face, but you could just see other things in his face, like the disappointment in his performance here, as he knows what the judges now know, and what we'll all know soon enough which is the victor of this bout, who will likely be Meng Fang Wong, and it is. China with a 13 to 6 victory over Bosnia Herzegovina, and that puts this one in the books. Congratulations to Meng Fang Wong, who are now a semifinalist for 2011 Aiba World Championships, right here at the Haydar Aliyah Sports Complex in Baku, Azerbaijan. I am Castle Chalice, keeping you informed here as we can look back and see some of the action from the last round. There's a little pushing and shoving going on, but at this point, it's really not that important because we know that Meng Feng Long is the victor.